In regards to origin, there are two types of inflammatory mediators. Some are the result of plasma enzyme cascades and are circulating throughout the bloodstream. The other type of inflammatory mediators are derived from sentinel cells, such as the dendritic cells you see here. I will be going over four types of plasma enzyme cascades and the mediators released from each. The complement protein system, the kinin system, the coagulation system, and the fibrinolysis system. The complement system is a cascading series of plasma enzymes and proteins which perform these functions. Certain complement proteins, namely C3B, opsonize pathogens, which allows neutrophils and macrophages to more easily detect and destroy the pathogens. And what I mean by opsonization is that C3B coats the pathogen's surface. This increases susceptibility to phagocytosis by neutrophils and macrophages. You can see in the image a macrophage getting ready to eat the bacteria. Complement proteins C3A and C5A play an important role in chemotaxis which basically means they attract phagocytes to the site of inflammation. C5A is the more potent chemoattractant though. Complement proteins C3A and C5A are also anaphylatoxins, and they play a role in degranulating mast cells, which leads to the release of histamine, as you can see in the image here. Histamine then causes vasodilation and increased capillary permeability, which results in the warmth and erythema at the inflamed site. Proteins C5B through C9 are considered the membrane attack complex, also abbreviated MAC. The function of the membrane attack complex is to create pores in the outer membranes of target cells or bacteria, hence the name the membrane attack complex. Once the outer membrane is compromised, fluid leaks into the cell, which causes it to burst or lyse. There are many more aspects of this complex system, including various pathways and other specific proteins, but we're not going to go into those right now. The kinin cascade is triggered by injury to blood vessels. The eventual result of this cascade is the production of several inflammatory mediators, with the final product being bradykinin. Bradykinin causes vasodilation and increased vascular permeability, which lead to the erythema, heat, and edema associated with inflammation. Bradykinin also induces pain and smooth muscle contraction. Thus, it causes four of the cardinal signs of inflammation, heat, edema, erythema, and pain. The coagulation enzyme cascade is similar to the kinin system in that they are both triggered by blood vessel injury. The activation of this system leads to the formation of a fibrin clot. The main inflammatory mediator in this system is thrombin, and it plays a role in conversion of fibrinogen to fibrin, which then accumulates to form a blood clot. The blood clot stops the bleeding, traps and prevents spread of microorganisms, and sets up for future healing and repair. During the conversion of fibrinogen to fibrin, fibrinopeptides are produced, which are chemotactic for neutrophils and also enhance the effects of bradykinin. The fibrinolysis system acts as a sort of checks and balances system in that it acts in opposition of the coagulation system to prevent problems. The main inflammatory mediator here is plasmin, which breaks down fibrin clots. It also plays a part in the complement enzyme cascade. Also, when the clot is broken down, it results in fibrin degradation products, also known as FDPs which leads to increased vascular permeability and therefore contributes to edema. So in review of plasma-derived inflammatory mediators, we have the complement system with C3s A and B, C5A, and C5B through C9, the membrane attack complex, leading to opsonization, chemotaxis for phagocytes, anaphylatoxins, and lysis of pathogens. The kinin system, with bradykinin being the main mediator, which contributes to vasodilation, increased vascular permeability, pain, and smooth muscle contraction. The coagulation system, which results in formation of a clot and neutrophil chemotaxis through the enzyme action of thrombin. 
in the fibrinolysis system with inflammatory mediator plasmin, which breaks down fibrin clots and subsequently leads to increased vascular permeability. Thank you for watching and I will be going over cell derived inflammatory mediators in the next video. If you enjoyed this presentation, please like and subscribe. And if you have any questions or requests, please comment below. Have a great rest of your day.